All right, are you frustrated that you are trying to reset, factory reset your Samsung Galaxy and you're, you've watched the videos and you're doing exactly, you got volume up and power, volume up, power, and you hold until the Samsung logo shows up, you let go, and it's supposed to bring up the Android recovery menu so you can factory reset, but instead yours does this. It just turns the phone on. So let me show you, first let's go over the two most popular questions that everybody asks, and then I'll show you the quick solution. All right, the question that, uh, most popular question is always when you finally get into the Android recovery menu and you scroll down to wipe data factory reset, don't skip this message. If your phone is reset, you 100% need to enter your Google or Gmail account, the original email account that you set this phone up and log back into your phone. There is no bypass. Any other video that shows pound, pound, hash, hash, and a bunch of numbers, all of those are scams. You can't bypass the factory reset protection. You need to enter your Google or Gmail account. All right, and the next one is, all right, when you go to the next screen, you press power for okay here, and then this one, will it erase my everything? Wipe all user data, this cannot be undone. All data on this device will be erased. All contacts, all apps, all photos. With that in mind, if you are just factory resetting your phone, uh, you might want to do a backup first, or if you've lost your pin pattern or password, you might want to spend a little bit more time trying to remember. All right, let me show you what to do to get it to factory reset. All right, if you're frustrated and you can't get it to go, this is what you do. You have the device powered off and you get your charging cord. So the USB-C, plug it in, and then on the USB side, you can plug into any computer, any laptop. There's no, all it has to do is make the connection. It's called a handshake, USB handshake. And it, there's no software. Don't follow any instructions that tell you to download software. None is required. And if you don't have this one with the old USB, you can still use... USB-C to USB-C, and then it even allows you to, um, to connect to a uh, tablet, or if your laptop has a USB-C, you can connect that way. So let me get mine ready. We're gonna plug in USB-C on this side and USB on the laptop. And now let's do the button combo. Volume up and power, volume up, power, hold. And as soon as we see the logo, let go. After a few seconds, it will bring up the Android recovery menu. There you go. And then let's scroll down to wipe data factory reset. Remember to pause here, read and understand this message. Press power four, okay. Pause here on the confirmation, read and understand this message. And then we can scroll one more time to factory data reset. Your phone may take several minutes or just a few seconds to get the data wipe is complete message. And now it is safe to reboot the system. Hey, if this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.